Hey drummers, hope you're well. Right, one minute drum lesson. Here we go. Shout out to channel member Nick, who asks about keeping track of bars. Um, he was saying he's doing a recording where he'd laid down the drums first before any of the other instruments. And uh, he was saying, is there any good way of keeping track, like if you want to count the bars? So it's kind of unusual, I guess, that recordings are done like that, but it does happen. It's quite, it makes me think of Stevie Wonder recording superstitious. I mean, do, lay, laying down his drums and then going back and doing the other instruments afterwards. Um, where I use this the most is if I'm like the last couple of weekends actually I've been away doing gigs with different bands bands I don't normally play with so I just I'll have written out like cheat sheets typically at like one o'clock in the morning or something sort of falling asleep as I do it and it'll say on there you know saxophone solo 24 bars and it's not like I know the songs inside out it's not like I've had time to rehearse them and listen to them over and over and over so at that point in the real world of being a gigging musician and a working musician, sometimes when you're standing in like that, it is about survival. Like I just need to get this right. So counting can be a, a brilliant method of doing that. And that's where I'd use that thing to count the bar, the, cl the bars. The classic way to do it, I would say, is to go, assuming you're in four, four, one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, and so on like that. So the first number you're saying is the bar number. And after that, you're just keeping count through the rest of the quarter notes in the bar. That's the classic way to do it, I reckon, and works most of the time. I don't love it. The reason I don't love it is, like I say, the first number means something different from the others. And I've taught a lot of people over the years now, hundreds, thousands of people, honestly. And I have seen a, you know, a fair number of people be a bit confused by that. So I would say there's an even better way. And then th that is if you can get to the point of just feeling what one bar is. I made a video about what a bar is in music uh, not that long ago. I'll link to that below. So in, if you're playing a basic rock type of beat, for example, in 4-4, Well, there I just played three bars, right? One, two, three, four. So typically, if you're playing a straight ahead groove like that, the snare drum hit, the backbeat is two and four. So even better, I'd say if you can really, if you're confident feeling what one bar is, then all you need to do is go one, two, three. Like I would say better to be able to feel a bar than going one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, because it can all get a bit thinky and a bit sort of getting away from a feeling. So um, that's how I do it. Nice, nice and simple, no great trick, but it does get easier. And it's super useful, again, when you're playing music that you're not necessarily that familiar with, but you do want to be certain that you're playing the right number of bars. Hope that's helpful. Cheers, Nick.